Hi friends, greetings to all of uh, you. This is Ama Light Worker for those of you who don't know me. For these readings for the month of April 2019, I am opening three cards from the traditional tarot deck and one more card from the psychic tarot deck by John Holland. I always tune in. I give you the meaning of the card first and then I talk to spirit and my spirit guides about what are the messages behind each and every card. For those of you who are interested to know more, I have already done a whole new video for each and every sign of the zodiac for download and purchase through vimeo.com. So for those of you who are interested, the link is down here below in the show more description box. Please also do notice the other links. You're going to find the second link that's going to take you to your yearly predictions for the year 2019 for each and every sign of the zodiac. If you are interested for download and purchase, my contact information. So again, please visit my website www.amalightworker.com and email me at amalightworker at gmail.com if you like to have your very own private consultation with me. It's very important that you also listen for the video for your rising sign and for your moon sign as well because all of these three videos sun sign rising sign and moon sign will have information for you please like share subscribe and i will connect with you in each and every video thank you so much sagittarius sun sagittarius rising and sagittarius moon the general feelings that I'm picking up for your sign for the month of April have to deal with some events are going to turn around for the better. You may have to face your own fears. Um, there's going to be a lot of inner healing and inner transformations. But at the end, there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. You may deal with a little bit of hesitation. Uh, hesitating around certain people, hesitation around uh, money, but generally speaking, it feels like it is going to be a month where a lot is going to happen that is going to propel you in some ways to move uh, forward. The first card that you have is the Knight of Pentacles. This card may be representing you because it does represent a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. The meaning of the card is slow, cautious, or feels reserved to take action. A person with a deep plan, a step-by-step -step plan, but changes in this step-by-step -step plan may be necessary. And sometimes it also means that maybe you take certain things more seriously than you should. That was the meaning of the card. Now I'm going to tune in psychically to hear what does this mean for you. Some of you are going to adopt a wait and see approach. You may still be waiting for the right moment for you where you need to put something up for sale in the market. You may be waiting for the right moment so you can have the right proof or the right evidence so that you can expose someone or so, the, or so that you can have proof of what is actually happening either behind the scenes or something that is not clear to you. You are going to take a wait and see approach. You are going to be gathering information. Maybe it is information that you are looking to gather before you launch a business, before uh, you put something up for sale in the market or buying something. Okay, or before you proceed with some kind of a legal proceedings. 
For some of you, this could be involving a situation around money, where before you make a certain important decision in regards to money, you're going to wait and see what else could be happening or what other information you need. Somebody may be asking you for money or to chip in financially in some ways. And before you agree to anything to lend the money, again, you are going to take your time to properly reflect about it. There's going to be a situation around a trip that you may still be thinking about it. Maybe you have not made up your mind about it. Maybe you need to work out all the details around this travel or this uh, trip. Suddenly a door will open up. The way this door is going to be opening up for you is going to happen in different ways for uh, each and every one of you, Sagittarians. This is a general reading after all. But I keep hearing that whatever you think that you know, uh, make sure that this is ex that what you know is right, that you comprehend it uh, rightfully, that you understand what is being presented to uh, you. You may be very wrong about the situation. You may be very right. You could be very right about the situation or the person, if it is about the person. Sometimes you need to lead, you need to allow your intuition to guide you. Listen to your intuition. You are going to have the right response because it does feel that either somebody wants to confront you about something or you may need to confront a situation. And what, whether is it that a person is trying to confront you, okay, or may be having like a confrontational attitude toward you, you are going to know exactly what to say and how to say it. It's very important that you keep your calm even though some situations or people really are going to be very hard for you because they really are trying to push your buttons. Please excuse the noise uh, outside. I do live in a busy area. You're going to find a way to generate more income. However, you are going to give it a really good thought before you launch a new product, before you launch a new service, before you deal with a new client, whatever new thing is happening, even before, okay, you may decide to propose to somebody, it feels like you are going to take your time. You are going to think things very carefully. And it does feel that for some of you, the situation that you need to see how it goes or how much time you need to make up your mind about something, okay, because you want to be 100% sure before you get into action, it feels like this situation is related to late March and is also related to early, early June for some of you. So you may want to re-listen to this video uh, in June uh, as well. The next card that you have, it's a fabulous card. This is the Ace of Pentacles. To me, it means a new solid gain, a new friend, a new property, or new wealth. And sometimes to me personally, this card also means an engagement. Many of you have been working towards feeling more happy through a relationship that you have. There's going to be good news because for some of you, you are going to take this relationship to the next step. 
if the engagement is the next step for you, you are going to be preparing for this to happen. And for some reason, even though uh, I am recording this in April, they are advising for some of you that this situation around this engagement, possibly a marriage, is also associated to uh, this upcoming December, to December 2019. For other uh, Sagittarians, you are going to be um, given an offer, like a sudden offer. Maybe you don't even plan on putting up something for sale, but you may be getting an offer uh, about it. If you have been having an issue with a real estate property, buying or selling, you are either the right buyer will be showing up for you and you are going to accept that offer or you are going to finally find that piece of property that you are looking uh, for at the right price for you. If you are someone who has particularly been having financial problems in the recent months or in the recent years, you are going to be landing a uh, job that will be steady, thus contributing to your finances, uh, to stabilize your finances. Uh, either something will be approved, a loan will be approved, or mortgage may be uh, approved, student loans or financial aid may be uh, approved, because whatever is going to happen with money, with a financial situation, it will help you to stabilize your finances if this is what you are looking for. Some of you are going to spend some money into rebuilding something. You may be uh, rebuilding a piece of property. You may be renovating uh, a home. It feels like now you are going to have the finances and the means to do this rebuilding or these renovations or even to start something from scratch. Maybe you want to rebuild the business from ground up or start fresh. You're going to have the finances and the means to do so. The next card is the King of Pentacles. And again, this card may also be representing you because it does represent a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. It represents someone, and again, don't be thrown off by the gender in the, in the card because this is a general reading. So this card may be representing you regardless of your uh, gender. It does represent someone who is calm, they have a very calm demeanor about them, proud, self-relied. They are in charge. They don't speak much, but when they do speak, they are able to captivate an audience with their stories. Uh, they're uh, very responsible. Uh, they sacrifice for the people that they are responsible uh, for. And it also means that uh, if you need advice, Okay, if you are seeking advice, uh, ask this King of uh, Pentacles. For some of you, this King of Pentacles is someone who is in charge. They are either in charge of a family gathering, a family celebration. They may be in charge of a department in the company that you work for. You may not necessarily see eye to eye with this King of Pentacles. If you have been the one who has been stubborn, now you're going to be changing your mind because you are going to be willing to listen to their point of view, to listen to their side of the story, or even being a little bit more open to collaboration. If, on the other hand, this King of Pentacles has been a little bit difficult. Maybe they are the ones not seeing it your way. Maybe they don't agree with you on everything. There's going to be a certain turning around of events because this King of Pentacles either will be forced or for some other reason they are going to be willing to sit down so they can listen your side of the story. If you are someone who uh, 
uh, is in the counseling business or maybe in the um, uh, coach coaching business, you are going to attract a lot of new clients. Some of you are going to find yourself to be very busy, either with work, if you work with clients with your clients, if you have a business, maybe you're going to find yourself very busy with your clients. And I also keep hearing that you are going to feel a lot more social than before. You are going to be invited to networking events, invitations for coffee, for lunch, gatherings, celebrations, and you are going to try to do your best to go to each and every one of these uh, engagements. When it comes to the emotional part, the communication part of a certain relationship, some of you are going to choose to work into rebuilding the foundation of this relationship by uh, making better the communication. It could be between you and this king of pentacles, whatever relationship you have. Maybe he's your boss, maybe it's your brother, maybe it's your uh, father. You are going to make a decision to work toward this relationship. Okay, for um, if, and there's also another situation where you are going to feel that you need a little bit time to yourself to think, to gather your thoughts. You are thinking about making a public announcement. You are thinking of uh, being more in the public eye. You may be thinking of uh, taking whatever work you do or taking in, in a whole new other level, or you may be uh, thinking about taking a hobby that you may have in a whole new level. And you are going to need some time alone to think uh, carefully uh, about this. It feels like for some of you, okay, there's an audience waiting for you. If you are a writer, they may be waiting for your next book. Uh, if you are a blogger, they may be waiting and they may have uh, a lot of curiosity about what you have to say next. This may be your family, okay? This may be for your friends who are going to be very curious to know whether you are going to uh, <clears throat> take a different approach, whether you are going to be posting or launching uh, some information into social media, into some kind of a social media platform. You may even have someone, okay, who is going to encourage you in some ways to take a chance to take a risk. You may decide to advertise about uh, your company. So thus being more in contact with the public eye. You may decide to perform being in front of an audience. Uh, so whatever you are doing, you may be thinking of expanding that. So you get a little bit more or you get more in touch with an audience of some kind. The next card that you have, this is the shadow. This is a card from the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Uh, the meaning of the card it has to deal with emotions, sensitivity. It, it is a reminder that nothing in life stands still. Life constantly keeps changing. It also means that at the end of the tunnel, there is going to be light. And another meaning of the card it has to deal with your psychic ability. You are in charge of your intuition and psychic ability. Every human being is equipped with a certain amount of intuition and psychic ability, but it is up to you as to how far you want to develop your intuition, your psychic ability, and it's up to you whether you want to open up this psychic ability and you, you decide when you turn it on and you decide when you turn it off. It is time for action now. It's time for you to face your worst fears. If you see here, this is a reflection of yourself, okay? Whatever you have been in denial about, whatever you have been trying to avoid, sometimes time is up and you cannot uh, deny it to yourself anymore or you cannot avoid a certain situation anymore. 
So it's time for you to face your fears. It's time for you to take action in whatever things, situations you have been trying to avoid. And please remember that life naturally has a way to revitalize itself. And as life does so, so will you. A certain situation that you have been struggling will finally start to resolve, okay? It will start to be resolved uh, one baby step after another. And in April, you are just going to have that first baby step towards the resolution. If this is about your very own personal growth, spiritual development, if you are the one who needs clarity about your life, about choices, decisions that uh, you made, choices and decisions that you could be uh, possibly facing, you are going to rely on your inner wisdom, okay? Because by now, or at a certain point in April, things are going to be very clear to you in your uh, mind. You're going to find yourself trusting more in your inner uh, wisdom. This is, sometimes it is a reminder that when you are in denial about something, what do you need to be happy? Do you feel that you need a change right now? Sometimes it's okay to let tears fall down, okay? Because even crying, it's part of the process of healing. It's part of the process of cleansing. There's going to be some energetic cleanse in your life. You need to clear out the way so that you can have new beginnings. It could be a very emotional time for some of you because for some of you, you are going to be facing endings and new beginnings. Some of your children may be moving away. Some of you may be welcoming and opening up your heart to a new love situation. And for some of you, you may also have to deal with a situation where you had feelings for someone, it could be like maybe recently you broke up and there could be in the horizon the possibility of the two of you getting together. That could be a very emotional decision uh, for you to uh, make. Some of you are going to go through some kind of a spiritual initiation. You may be initiated into doing Reiki. You may be initiated into working with energy, learning tarot, doing mediumship. You may feel like it's necessary for you to return to a religion or return to religious practices. You may feel, in other words, that it's time for you to uh, take all of these things that have been working for you in the past, but adapt them now to your new situation. You could be communicating with people that you respect them and in some ways you hold them on a pedestal. You could be receiving some information or in some ways communicating with them. A Dalai Lama could be about a charity, could be about donations. Uh, the Pope, you may be hearing important news or information about uh, Pope in uh, the news or whoever you consider as your spiritual teacher and of your spiritual leader. If you have been looking to find a spiritual community, you are going to attract a spiritual community. If you have been looking to belong to an exclusive organization, an exclusive a club, you may just be accepted in these exclusive clubs or organizations. Someone will be holding you at high regards. This someone will show up for you at the right time at the right place. This someone may have plans for you. Maybe they want to make you an offer. Maybe they want to offer you a job. They want to offer, they want to give you uh, some pathway to success, offer you a job, help you with the business, help to promote you, help to make you uh, well-known in some ways. 
And for other ones, the someone who's going to show up at the right time, at the right moment, may tell you words that this is exactly what you needed to hear at that time. And you, it could also be in association or in relation to some kind of a romantic liaison, a romantic situation that could be showing up for you uh, at this uh, time. But again, you have to face your fears so that you can allow for this new beginning. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And even though it's difficult to face the very shadows of your soul, this is the law of nature. There's always light at the end of uh, the tunnel. I hope that this is making sense to you. Please do comment down here below. If you'd like to know more, there is a link down here below for those of you who are interested for download and purchase, who's going to take you to the Vimeo videos where I'm doing a whole new reading for you. It is an Akashic reading for your sign with more advice and predictions from the Akashic records. If you'd like to schedule your very own private consultation, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com and visit my website www.amalightworker.com. Like, share, subscribe, and I will connect with you in the next video.